Hey guys, this is like here with a quick video of an opening of the Sealed Play Battle Kit for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Epic Dawn Sealed Pack Battle Things. Battle Packs. Um, I don't really play Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore, competitively at least. I might play it with a friend every once in a while, but uh, competitively is just dumb for me. Um, but the Sealed Pack kind of interested me, so I wanted to get some, and this is a ridiculously good deal. Ten packs and a mat for 20 bucks. That's awesome. But first, I'm going to show you what I pulled in this real quick. Um, I got both of these at Walmart just because my local store doesn't have the battle packs, the, the big things. Um, this is how the booster packs at Walmart come now. They come like this. And I think if you buy a three pack, you're actually losing money a little bit. Anyway, I already filmed me opening these, but somebody called me and interrupted the video. So sorry about that. So I'll just show you what I pulled. So inside that, there was two first set boosters and a second set booster. If you haven't noticed, I am not at my house, so I'm on the floor, so it's going to be weird. Uh, Bracky, Sierra, Gemini, Nightmare Baby. It's going to be useful soon. Totally Dead, New Potama card. Another Sierra, Govanon, Randolph, Cyclone Blitz, fun card. Cheerful Lynx, Reese and Psychic Bird. Very fun card. So those are my commons. And then I'm very happy about my rares. I wasn't happy at first because I got this stupid thing again. I have like 10 of these. Okay, not like 10, more like 3, but uh, I don't play Grand Blue. I don't want to play Grand Blue, so I don't want any more of these. But I've got a couple of friends that want to play Grand Blue, so there's this. And then I got another one of these! Again, I have like five of these. I don't have Blazing Flare Dragon, so at the moment these are useless to me. Still a fun card, but I'm more partial to Aleph's Ride Chain. Um, that's the deck I want to build. I have most of it. I'm still missing a couple more copies of the Aleph's and some Baris. But uh, maybe eventually I'll start doing this kind of Ride Chain with the Blazing Flare Dragon. But that last pack I opened finally have a real Dragonic Overlord, and my god, is he pretty. Not an SP, unfortunately, but I don't care. I finally have one. I, I actually do not have many card fight cards, um, so I'm happy I got this. So anyways, let's get to this. Uh, it comes in a big box. Let me take the camera off my crappy stand. Ten packs in the game mat, little rolls in the back to how to play. Now as I'm op trying to open this, I'll try and explain a little bit to you. For those of you who don't know what sealed play is, that means everybody gets the same number of booster packs, and then you have to make a deck out of what you get in the packs. And that's it. So in this... Oh wow, I didn't know it opened like that. <laughs> um, so in this box, from what, I've from what I've seen, usually when you do a battle pack tournament like this, you get 10 packs. And so that'll be 50 cards, and you make a 40 card deck out of those. So pick 10 cards you don't like, the rest are your deck. That seems to be how this works. I haven't actually played with them yet. I've missed every tournament they've had at my local store. But um, there's not every card in these are tournament legal right now. Like there's like Heavy Storm and like Harvey's Feather Duster. There's older cards like that in these packs. That is perfectly fine to play with when you're when everyone's only playing with these, but of course they're still going to be banned. Um, you know, if you're playing using a regular deck. Now this is what I was kind of interested in. It has a very long, very short game mat. So there's my hand. Uh, it's not big enough for many other games besides Yu-Gi-Oh. But it does look really awesome, and it's actually pretty decent quality. I thought it'd be a lot thinner, but no, that's got really nice textured rubber on the bottom and really, really nice, incredibly smooth fabric on top. And then you got all the big guys from the set. I don't really know why Gakuga Magician's the main guy here. Mystery Skull Arch Fiend. But yeah, that's a really nice mat. I will actually use that, I think. I might use that for my card fight mat. I don't know. So anyways, let me set this down again. 
and let's check out these packs. Okay, so this is the booster pack nunchuck. Okay, so the packs, pretty basic Yu-Gi-Oh packs, and boring stuff on the inside. Okay. So there's only five cards in the pack, that's why they're cheaper. And in the pack, you'll get three commons, a star foil card, and then a rare card. Um, the star foil card is a special foiled version of any card in the set. So out of every, so hang on, I actually says in the back right here. There is 220 cards in this set, and every single one can have a star foil card. So here's Shield Warrior. In your player's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Okay, he's fun. I I, I'll probably have no idea what any of these cards is. I know what his, I know what he is. <laughs> like, I've been out of Yu-Gi-Oh for a while, but I've still been keeping up with it at least. He's fun. So is this? Yeah, this is the Star Foil. Air Knight Parshath. And I probably won't know if I'm getting a good card unless it's just really, really shiny. So. That's cool. Dark Dust Spirit, I remember him. God. And Horn of the Unicorn is our rare? Where is our rare? Was there a rare in there? Hang on. I don't, what am I missing here? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Dark Dust Spirit is the rare. I don't know if you can even see that, but his name is Black Foil. Maybe that's silver, but that's really dark. <laughs> I, could, I didn't even notice it at first. Wow, okay, so there's that. Let's get these separated. Common. Okay, so this one. Pack two. Helping Robo for combat. That sounds like a direct translation. Uh, that's pretty good. Hedge guard. That's fun. Oh my god, Blowback Dragon. He was my card back in the day, and I got a Starfoil version of him. I'm very happy with that. That's awesome. I loved this card back in the day. My regular rare, Swords Revealing Light. That, that foil is so weird. And Big Big Shot. All right, let's finish up these five, and then I'll probably have to cut the video here. Another helping robot for combat. Ancient Gear Knight. That's more my speed. Ducker Mobile Cannon. Well, that's weird. Looks like a VT from a vertical tank from a. Oh, hello, sneak peek. Looks like a vertical tank from Steel Battalion. That's cool. Utopia. Um, so I guess the star, all the foil goes to the star foil. So if you get like an ultra rare card or something, then it's just going to be the foil up there because there's no foil anywhere else on the card. And I can't even. Is that even foil? It just looks like white. That's weird. Anyways, Utopia. That's a really good card, I think. And Magic Drain. Quickly get this open and we'll cut it here. Possessed Dark Soul. Ooh, hello. I know you. Oh, heck yeah. Starfoil, Leviathan Dragon. It's actually one of the cards I do play because I run Dragoonity. That's awesome. Hello, I need you. <laughs> That's awesome. Solemn Judgment, Nightmare Wheel. God, that was a good card too. All right, so there's that video. Um, be back in just a second with part two. Thanks for watching, guys.